All right, guys, check out this beautiful day. It's got Justin Kayak Catfish. I'll make it more beautiful. It makes it more beautiful. It's final day out here for him. I'm here for another three weeks. Uh, I got myself a, a serious fishing rig for the day. Uh, the other day I came out to Seven Mile just to kind of explore it around. And today I've got the autopilot all rigged up. I've got myself about a dozen and change live pinfish. Uh, they're in that bubbler there. Got my rigs ready to go. Maybe we'll need Carolina rigs. Maybe I'm just going to free float them out there behind me. So I've got no idea. And of course, some lures and stuff. Cooler. Uh, we're going to take this guy out there and see what we can find. It should be a good time. I've never tried live bait fishing here, but I'm going to take it kind of seriously. So I'd like to get myself a snapper, a grouper, a jack. Don't matter to me as long as it's not gray. We'll leave that to Justin. <laughs> a gray fish. But I'm sure I'll bump into a gray fish even if i don't want them so all right let me get the shove this thing off and let's get started it's gonna be a great day to fish all right so i'm cruising on the autopilot here been getting to some slightly deeper water i'll definitely start making some moves if i start seeing some life but it's been quiet so far this is the coolest day we've had since coming out here so might see some showers today that won't surprise me but let's just see what happens Slow trolling a live bait here, guys. Guess you gotta be pretty quick on the trigger too if anything bites this guy. All right, so I finally brought something in on my pinfish. Let's see if anything eats it. Let's see if I can catch one on a paddle tail quickly here. Just to get the skunk off. First bite. Pin fish didn't get bit. Artificial bite though. Got a lot of head shakes in him. Nice one of these jokers here. It's a four inch storm GT search bait. Is that a yellow jack? It looks kind of different than the other ones. Yeah, he's got them. Yeah, they're kind of faded. Those lightning bolts. Cool fish, man. I'll be keeping those later in the week. I don't need them right now, but later in the week I'll be keeping a bunch, I'm sure. Nothing's eating that pinfish yet, man. That's crazy. Like a thousand grunts over here on my left side. Just kind of hanging out next to the kayak. Paddle tails, man, they're getting the bites. I'm surprised that pinfish won't get eaten. Oh, man. This feels like a bigger one of these guys. Discount AJ time, baby. Fish can fight. It's going into my other line though. That's never a good thing. Awesome. What an awesome fight these guys provide. 
similar to red drum fight i'm gonna keep a fish at the end of the day i don't have too much ice with me and we're gonna be out here for a while so i don't know if you can tell looking at all the fish down there i've got uh pinfish snappers grunts nothing too big though i haven't seen anything that's made my jaw drop just yet all right i'm starting to get a little bit of current so i'm gonna tie up a Cal carolina rig just hopefully keep it out of the snag the snaggy stuff but we'll see how that goes this way he stays on the you know pretty close to the bottom it's probably a three quarter ounce or one ounce egg sinker right here let's put it on my shock leader i'm using 40 pound and 40 pound okay so i'm gonna just hook them under the jaw here boom okay let's get them down there let's keep them on the bottom a little easier Ooh, something wants to kill him. Ooh, we got him. Ate my pinfish. What is it? Is it a jack? Did one of those jacks eat my pinfish? That won't surprise me that much. Yeah, it is one of those jacks. Could have been one I ate one earlier. Oh my gosh, shark, 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 shark. Free spool, free spool. They say free spool if you see shark. Okay. Shark again. Free spooling. Oh, I think he got him. No. No. Okay, good. Dang. All right, first bite on the pinfish. All right, that worked. That shark swam away. Okay, come back and get these guys for some tacos later in the week. All right, next pinfish right here. Okay, so I'm hooking the pinfish right through the bottom lip and right there. Do I have a fish on here? This is another jack. He's running into the current like that. That's another jack. This feels like a much bigger one though. A corral maybe. Let's try to get him going my way. Oh my gosh, that's a big shark. It's a big shark. Go, go get him. Whew. That thing. That was big. All right, dude, you're a big yellow jack. I had a pretty sizable bull shark chasing this yellow jack down, man. I'm gonna get out of this area, let it cool off for a minute. Um, I also just wanted to leave that bull shark, leave that area, because that bull shark's gonna stick around as long as I'm probably fishing that area, is my take on it. So 
Um, and if I hook a snapper or anything I want, I don't want to be dealing with that thing coming up. So I'm going to go to this ledge where I caught a bunch of fish last week, and hopefully there's no sharks here. I'm thinking it's less likely for me to bump into a shark out here, but you never know. I could be dead wrong on that too, but um, that was the second shark I saw over there. The first one was small. That was a sizable bull shark. So um, why don't you kill the shark and eat it? Uh, I'm not putting a bull shark on my kayak. We're figuring out how to tow it around. Looks like on my right side, it's pretty deep. And on my left, I don't know, about 12 feet. So there's a heavy ledge right here. We're sitting pretty nicely on it, honestly. Hopefully, autopod can keep grabbing it. Big ledge, five feet with rocks. There's gotta be something good here somewhere. We're going through a lot of my baits though. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right. Ooh, nice bite there. Is that a jack? Big. In on the bottom. Oh, I don't know. Oh, serious bite there, though. Uh, he got me on the ledge, though. The jacks probably know how to use the structure pretty well, just like the AJ, so could have been. And that drag's pretty tight. I don't think that was a grouper on second thought, but I think I realize now it was too fast in the way it was turning, so I'm guessing that was another of those yellow jacks just last two have been pretty big so i don't know how big i'll catch them here but okay such just drop that off right down to the bottom just got thumped gonna let this time this time we're gonna let him eat it though He's on there. I think I got. Justin, I got your, your tax man, I think. Come with that. <laughs> Did I tax man? I don't think I'm groupering here. How big of a tax man is the question. Oh boy. Could be a grouper, but I think that's a Goliath, if that's a grouper. He did start to use the ledge out of nowhere on me. So I don't know how I feel about all that. Calm. Have to go to 100 pound test? I don't know. Oh, my leader is not bad. I don't know, that could have been a ray or a shark. He just got me in that. That's what I was thinking there. And I have no idea what I'm doing out here, man. <laughs> this is pretty embarrassing. I'm guessing that might have been a grouper. I don't know. Could have been a ray. I've only got five live pinfish left. I came with about 15 and I landed one yellow, two yellow jacks of them. And I lost a bunch of fish. <laughs> This is one of the heavier rods I own. It's not that light, but I think I need heavier.
These aren't Goliaths I'm losing here, like a tool. I think they are. Gotta keep them coming the direction. Don't change directions. I mean, I don't think I have a chance at any of this stuff, honestly. Now I'm really starting to think it's all Goliaths that are killing my baits. Okay. Steady pressure, just steady pressure. that works. So I made a slight move away from where I was hooking those Goliaths. I mean, I'm guessing, really I want to catch like a, a mutton snapper or something like that with these live pinfish. I want nothing to do with Goliaths, especially if they're over 50 pounds, which these all felt very large. So I, I got away from that ledge just now and let's try to see if we do anything else. That fish killed my top shot. The last two fish, both were, that's making me think this ledge just has a lot of those Goliath groupers on it. I was, was kind of not sure, you know, good structure, I guess, in Florida equals Goliaths. That's kind of what I'm go, it's going through my head. I don't think those are black grouper. They feel a little too big if they're 26 inch black grouper, you know what I'm saying? Someone's trying to eat them. We got a shark, Justin. First fish that ran the opposite direction. And that does not feel like a... That was a shark. I have not put a single fish in the kayak here. Um, I do believe the first fish I hooked was a yellow jack. But every fish after that seems to be have been a goliath grouper and these aren't those everglades you know 10 to 20 pounders i was hooking there these feel quite a bit larger so i've drifted off the structure small bites but we're really not what we're looking for. All 
Right, this one's not running into the ledge, so we're already up to a good start. As long as it doesn't bring a shark up with it. Oh, yes. What? Power prawn mutton snapper. Well, there you go, guys. It's salt strong. I don't know if that's a keeper or not. I think it's 18 inches, and I'm going to look it up. But hoo -hoo -hoo. What a Guggen move. All right, 17 and a half. Got my finger pretty good there, Mr. Mutton. Oh gosh, that is a giant. You got him, Mr. Shark. And here I was saying, I haven't seen a shark in a while. Whew. Yeah, he was definitely out there to get me. That was not cool. <laughs> not what I had in mind. All right, let's try some top flats top water. I mean, am I gonna run into sharks on the flats right now? I don't know. We're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go over to 10 feet. Guess those sharks are everywhere. Just throw some top water on these flats for a second, see if anything eats that. There are some huge sharks here, is what I've just learned. With that. Got myself a 3 8 ounce jig head here. This is Z-Man Streaks. Uh, streakies? Streakies? -y? I think it's pronounced streaks. Please don't be sharked instantly. Just the white grunt, not the, not the droids I'm looking for. Is he gonna get sharked? Don't like him running under the boat like this. Another yellow jack. Oh, nice mangrove, man. Heck yeah, one for the streaks. Oh my gosh, that's my PB alert, yo. It's not a giant, but that'll work. Inside of that Grover right there. Mmm, you're getting going to the tacos, my friend. Awesome, that's my biggest mangrove on the jig so far in my Florida Keys journeys. And he's just under 15. He's not a giant, but to me he is. Yeah, I should have been working lures all day is what I'm starting to think here. And I'm just long drifting here. I might get some rain, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it holds off, but might have to go hide under the bridge for a little while. I did hit it up with some mystery procure. I'm not sure of the type because it's all faded out, but just put a little scent on there. Stop right about here. Start jigging again. I hope we ain't gonna get beamed by some rain here. Looks like it's coming, though. It didn't look great on the radar. I mean, it looks like it could miss us, but it looks like it could get us pretty good too. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a good bite right there, fellas. I hate that I missed that one. That was a great bite we missed on that, man. Whew. I don't know what that could have been, but I know I wanted to hook that fish. Oh, I got the Goliath for sure. Oh, he's got me in there. That's a Goliath. Oh, 
cut them out. Maybe your shark had it? Possible. Not sure if that's the Goliath or a shark. Doesn't feel like I'm gonna stop him anytime soon. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this out. I don't think there was any way I could have won that. Good fish. Jack? I hope not. Hopefully that's a snapper. Small grouper. That's a black grouper. Nice, decent sized one for, you know, just taking around. Can't believe a Goliath ate a Z-Man streaks. Pretty sure that's what that thing ate. Florida Keys clouds form quickly, so let me get the heck out of here. Don't know what's gonna happen with that. So I got a mangrove snapper that was 15 inches, a just shy mutton snapper. Both of those ate artificial lures. I spent hours with live pinfish. I think I was just feeding them to goliaths and sharks, so I'm confident in my artificial game, especially seeing that those bigger snappers will eat lures sometimes. I don't need much, just enough to have a good time. And doing that with lures was a lot of fun, in my opinion. So, yeah, a couple tail biters, but it wasn't bad with those, man. Um, but, yeah, my first drift, I got the mutton. Second drift, yellow jack. He got bull sharked. And then I gave him a, gave it a break. And then third drift, that mangrove snapper. I was hopeful to get a, a big mutton snapper. Not a big one, just a you know, keeper on the, uh, the live pinfish. But I think all my bites were goliath groupers, honestly. And then the last one was a shark because he ran out. But I think the other three were goliaths. And I have no idea how big those were. All right, let's mosey on back. This is the Old Town Autopilot 136. I run it on a Dakota Lithium battery. Um, still had a great time doing that. Um, some nice fish today. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, we might head back out if that blows through pretty quickly. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Because it's pretty nice in the, the wind department. It sucks we're seeing more rain again. I saw it this morning, so... We'll take it from there. I've learned a lot today and the last time I did this, so um, got a better idea what to do now. So, And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you on the next video. Learning, learning along here.